Hey guys, so me reaching out to you before the video starts. Um, just make sure to like and subscribe because it's free. Uh, it doesn't hurt and it helps me out a ton um, because, you know, I want to be, I'm trying to grow my channel. So it does help me out a ton if you like and subscribe. But thanks for listening to me and enjoy the video. All right. Um, welcome to the video. Uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to, um, all the ins and outs of industrial mining. So, the first thing you want is a venture. Now, if you're an alpha clone. So, a venture is your basic first mining ship. Um, this is the fit that I would recommend. Um, but it does require 2.7 million um, for it. A mining laser upgrade 2 makes you mine faster. Uh, this is not really needed. Um, an afterburner just to travel faster. And then miner 2, like level 2, because uh, they mine a ton faster. Alright, so. Alright, this video is actually by request um well not a request um someone asked for my help and now i'm making a video for you so let's say you want to start mining but you don't know what uh system to mine in so how to find out what system to mine in you click alt m and this brings up the agency you go to resource harvesting down here and then you click asteroid belts so all right then it gives you a bunch of systems uh depending on, like I, i'm in caldari space so probably the best thing to do is look through the list and pick the systems with the most number of belts you see 25 belts in system i'm currently in impasse which has 22 belts in system so i f i think that all um, systems that have 15 plus belts are like mining hubs and they have really good infrastructure for um, other stuff than mining okay and then so once you found a system and you've traveled to that system you click on the mining thing on your over on the mining tab on your overview and it gives you all of the Asteroid belt. Um, doesn't really matter which one you go to. So let's just go to this one. I'm just gonna warp there. Also, we have to continue my water addiction, as always. <sighs> Alright. Water out of the way. So, this is what an asteroid belt looks like. Um, asteroid belts can get depleted over time. Uh, you just gotta wait for the game to reset them. So, you look through here. Uh, you, again, still on the mining tab. You look through here and then, alright. Let me explain to you that there are different types of asteroids. There are three types of asteroids in Kaldari space, um, the Veldspar, Pyroxes, and Scrodite, uh, and there are three levels for um, all the asteroids, there's normal, and then there's medium, and then there's high, um, each of them have different names. You want to find the high versions, for Pyroxes that's solid, for scrotite that's massive scrotite and then for veldspar it's dense veldspar so you can right click and then do show info and then you go to industry and then it tells you when you reprocess it how much of a uh, mineral you're gonna get so veldspar gives you titanium scrotite gives you uh, pyrite and Tritanium. 
And then Pyroxes um, is the most expensive, like if you were just to sell it um, as as is. It gives you Mexalon and Py uh, Pyrite, which are two really expensive ones. And so, um, how to, you know, mine. Um, you approach an asteroid that you want to mine. You want to log target. Unfortunately, the ship can only log targets from 17 kilometers away, which is kind of annoying. But also, let's talk about skills for mining. Ooh, I have not been in the in the skills tab in a while. Apparently, they changed it. Okay, so hold on. Let's go to okay. Uh, before I do that, let me start mining. Um, you should always have two miners, like two mining lasers. Uh, you lock target on this one, and then for variety, I'll also lock target for this one. You see this right here? These show how big the asteroid is. Um, so, how to mine two asteroids at once? Uh, I couldn't figure this out for a while, and I actually wasted a lot of time figuring out how to do this. So. You click on the asteroid that you want to mine, and then you click on your mining laser. Then you click on the other asteroid that you want to mine, and click on your other mining laser. And then that's how you mine two at the same time. So, as you can see, I'm mining solid pyroxies, dense veldspar, and let's see if I can find some massive skirt right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the best... Um, my mistake. The best pyroxies to mine is vicious pyroxies, um, it, but you will find more um, solid pyroxies than vicious. Vicious is really hard to find, but this <clears throat> Unpas has a lot of these high-end ones. Okay, so let's go into the character sheet here. Go to skills. Okay, so they updated this, but um, let's see here. All right, so you want to go into, I'm guessing it's production. And then you would want to train up industry and mass production to the max. And I'll explain that a bit later. Um, resource processing. Okay, go into resource processing and train the mining. Because this gives you more um, ore per cycle of the mining lasers. Um, and then also train mining upgrades because that will let you get this thing right here. The mining laser upgrade number two. Um, and that will let you again get more ore per, um, per cycle. What I mean by cycle is these don't work like lasers which goes like boom um you see this it goes around once and then it gives you a different amount of pyroxies and the more you mod these and like better lasers you get uh the more pyroxies you get per one cycle so um as you can see i have i've been doing some mining off camera and i have some things here actually here's massive scrotite by the way um and to show you the difference so let's find normal veldspar so this one chonpa this gives you 400 units of titanium now if you have dense veldspar this gives you 440 units of titanium so it gives you um 40 more and so that's how asteroid mining works you find i will okay so once again for veldspar always look for dense veldspar for pyroxies vicious and then for scrotite look for massive um because those will give you the most those will a sell on the market for the most amount of money and b if you're gonna go into what i'm gonna be explaining next which is reprocessing and building they those will give you more uh, items like more minerals and base building blocks so I'm just gonna end shop here 
and then all right so let's say you've mined a full load of cargo and of, of cargo and you're like okay so i don't want to sell this i want to build something out of it so for that you're gonna have to reprocess it and so there are many types of structures um that will help you with reprocessing uh stations let you reprocess but you want to look for these um they're called refineries which are made for reprocessing um they give you a seven percent bonus for uh reprocessing and 20 percent reduction so you can read this you can pause the video and read this if you want to um but basically this gives you a bonus for reprocessing so what you do is you go and you dock they will usually let you dock because um, this is how they make money by letting people reprocess and taking a little bit um, of money from them. Okay, just drank some more water. So we're going in. And so we're at the refinery. Refineries look like this. Docking and so once you dock I'm trying to keep this video shorter if you want me to go even more in depth uh please tell me in the comments below and i will make an even more in depth video but i'm pretty sure this is like the most in depth and speed that i can get so the other one will be really long if i want to go more in depth okay so now that you've docked uh, you open up your cargo, go to ore hold, take this, and then you transfer it to your item hanger. Now, you click stack all if you've been mining a ton. And then you select all your things like that. Just uh, left click and drag. Then right click and then click reprocess. So, it's going to reprocess. And the more you train, like, reprocessing skills, um, that's an Omega thing. But um, if you're an Omega clone, you can train reprocessing skills. You will see, um, so 45% of our ma materials are going to get wasted. And so we're losing 45%. Uh, so if we uh, train, then we'll get 100%. Um, if you're an alpha clone, I mean, sorry, omega clone, then you click reprocess. And then it takes money for reprocessing, and then you have materials right here. So, um, and then if you want, you can leave these in for next time, or you can go and sell them, but you won't get that much money out of it. So you see this? Um, these are the minerals. Now, if you're gonna, this is me doing it in small so i can show you quickly but i usually do these in bulk and i usually have like two million of this three million of this um because this is a lot no sorry three million of this like one million of that and then around two hundred thousand of that before i transport it because um these usually do have massive quantities so now you want to switch to an industrial ship uh, how to find an industrial ship go into the ship tree go into your favorite empire ships and then along the bottom here uh, this is where all the industrials are and then uh, so for Kaldari's I have the badger or the tiara which is what I have this one holds more but goes slower and then if you train out like your industrial skill it will let um it will let you go faster and have more capacity so what you want to do go to item hanger take this oop, take all these and then put it into here um i'll also at the same time just bring this okay so then you undock once you put all your minerals in here again usually i travel in bulk and i have like millions of these but since this is a quick video, um, I'm just going to do a little bit. Okay, so now you want to look 
for a engineering complex so uh, you see just go through the structures how to know if it's a station it's this box if it's something else it's gonna have like this um, and if you hover over it like over the symbol it's gonna show you what it is so if you hover over this symbol see it says engineering complex engineering complex are good for building uh, are good for building items from blueprints which is what we're gonna be doing next this is a good way to make a ton of money quickly I mean not as quickly it takes a little bit of time and money to set up but once you get this running it's a good uh, m method of making tons of isk with your friends especially so one of you can be mining and then uh, the some of you can be mining other ones can be hauling and then other ones can be building so once you go in there and go, go in there I mean dog so this is what an engineering complex looks like again um, they usually should let you dock as they it makes no sense for them to not let you dock because that way they're losing money all right so we've docked um, so in here the reason why you want to build stuff in the engineering complex is because it gives you perks such as faster build times uh, research times but I'll go over all of that right now so what you do is you take your stuff like your blueprints and your materials and you put them in your item hanger once again as you can see in my item hanger I have a ton of blueprints uh, and a ton of materials. Now, some of these material materials are really hard to get, so you will have to buy some of them off the market. Like this one, like Zydrine, are really hard to mine unless you're in Nullsec, which is not safe. Um, so I would buy this off the market. Uh, Isogen, easier to get, but again, just easier to buy off the market. So, uh, what you do, let me go into the industry tab so this is the industry tab and once it loads so there are so this facility offers um, many items so oh and look okay so there is okay let's pick a blueprint let's um, sure okay hold on let me pick here Let's build a... No. Yeah. Let's build a Punisher. Alright. So. We can do a couple of things. When you click on the Manufacturing tab down here. This is you actually building uh, the ship. Now you can build many things like mobile depots. Um, like this is ammo. Uh, you can build guns. Like lasers. But... I'm gonna build ships because those are the best bang for your buck um, and so what you're gonna do is so you have to have all the required materials here and then so all frigates require this many materials it's the same for all of them um, and then it also uh, costs you money to build it um, and then let's go into what are these down here so material efficiency research the more you research this, uh, like you can go like a ton. You can there's a maximum of ten that you can go through. I'm this blueprint is currently on two, and you can only um, I would buy original blueprints and then get them and start researching. So basically, what this does is exactly what it sounds like. Um, once you the more levels you add of material efficiency research the less materials you have to use to actually build the ship time efficiency research um is also what it sounds like it's the more you research this the faster your things get built and then copying you can copy blueprints and then give them to your friends or like if it's a really expensive blueprint like um <clears throat> like a battleship you can then auction them off on uh, hypernet which is like the auction site so 
Uh, I'm just gonna build this one for now. And then we just click start. And then it will be ready in one hour and seven minutes. So that's how long it's gonna take. And then once it's done, you go into jobs, like uh, you go into the industry tab and then you click deliver. And then it will give you, so this is an Omega thing, so I can't use it, but it does sell for well. So uh, I'm going to sell that. And then the other thing I was researching um, in terms of like to, for material efficiency. And let me show you how to do that. So let's take, um, yeah, let's take the hair and blueprint. Oh, that one's already researched. Um, okay. Let's take this. And let's go into um, material efficiency. And we're gonna bump it up to... And each time it gets longer, I'm gonna bump it up to... Yep. I'm gonna bump it up eight levels. So it's gonna give me eight material efficiencies it's gonna cost me a hundred five thousand now I'm gonna do let's see um, this one now we're gonna do um, time efficiency research which is gonna be uh, also train up your science jobs because then we can uh, do more like material efficiency research and then time efficiency research at the same time. So I'm just gonna copy this one and I'm gonna do two runs of this. That's two days and it's gonna give me 300 runs per copy. Then I'll auction these off on the, on the market. Okay, so it's not gonna let me do that. Okay, what if I do just one? What did it say? Okay, so it's not letting me, um, let me try a different one. I think it's also because this counts as a science job. If I do that, yeah, so it counts as a science job, so train up your science job skills, but, uh, this is gonna get built eventually, and we're gonna have in a ship. So hopefully this gives you a good description of, um, this uh, menu so once again let me go into a blueprint uh, let's say this Tristan so this is building it this is okay so this is building it this is um, for less materials to use this is for um, less time to use and this is to copy it um, this will go into later. This is an Omega thing, usually. So I'm gonna leave that, um, for another episode if you really want it. So. What I'm gonna say is, uh, give it a shot. Um, you can always just go in and sell your, uh, ore for other people to reprocess. But if you go in and reprocess your ore into minerals and then go and sell the minerals, you usually get more money from that. Um, wait, I can actually build. I can actually build the Tristan. Hold on. Okay. I'm just going to start. Alright. So. And then one more time to the skills, just to show you. Train up mining and then, like, mining and mining upgrades. And then go into production, do industry, um, and then mass production. This will let you one extra, like one extra blueprint to be made, being made at the same time. And let's see, what else can I build nice and quickly here? Sure, let's just get rid of this one. All right, uh, how many runs do you have? Let's just put four in. Then boom. Okay, there we go, and yeah, so that's a quick rundown of how to use this, 
So tell me if you liked the episode. Um, if you want me to do another, if I did a good job explaining, want to do another episode of explaining, or what else if you want, or if you want me to explain something else, um, I'm always open to suggestions. So everybody, thanks for watching the video.